Hey, welcome back everybody. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to take a look at the Mavlos Ultima 5'6 Ultralight BFS rod. I'm going to throw a few casts around and I'm going to give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. Okay, first off I want to say that I reached out to Mavlos and said I was interested in reviewing this rod and would they like to work with me and, and, uh, and for me to do a review and they said sure. So um, yeah, just for full transparency, um, Mavlos sent me this rod to review. Uh, it's a five foot six ultralight. It's got a one to six gram casting weight, as you can see there, and it's a two to six pound, and it is uh, a pretty fast action rod. And you might notice by the taper here, it's, it's quite thick at the butt section here compared to other rods. And uh, that's one thing that kind of attracted me to the Mavlos plume, but because that only had seven guides, that kind of put me off a little bit. But this one actually has nine guides, which for a five foot six rod is pretty good. Now, if we um, give a pull on the line there, you can see the action. It's quite a fast action. I would say medium fast, verging on, on straight up fast and the line doesn't seem to cut the corner, which is also something you uh, see from a lot of budget ultralight rods. I'm just gonna have a few casts. I've had this rod for, I'm gonna say about a month now, used it quite a bit, and I'm uh, pretty confident in my opinions of it. Used it in enough scenarios and that type of thing to um, kind of give a pretty good impression on what I think about the rod. And one thing I'll say is it definitely feels nice in the hand. It feels like an extension of your arm almost, I would say. Mostly because uh, I think the, the butt is a very nice length. I don't know if the cork adds some extra sensitivity, but uh, the tip section is very sensitive. Well, I'm going to just bounce the lure just like this, you know, bounce it up an inch or two. Yeah, I can definitely feel that lure right through the handle into my hand just by giving it that little bounce there. So that's, that's a good sign. And I think that's a lot to do with the fast action as well, that the rod doesn't, you know, absorb a lot of the, uh, a lot of the impact and the fast recovery as well that helps transmit sensitivity and, and feel to your hand. So definitely an A plus on the feel and sensitivity aspect. One other positive thing I like about this rod, because it loads so easily, you can just do these little like flick casts and, uh, and get some quite nice distance. And the faster tip definitely will lead to uh, being able to cast lighter lures better because you don't need, to, don't need to load up the whole rod. You just need to load up the tip. So, you know, like a trout magnet or something like that. Not that I ever use them, but I have casted them around at home. It's, oh, there's a bite. There we go, there's a fish. Boom. There we go. Sort of unexpected. Is it a perch or a trout? I think it's a perch. Oh, it's a, oh, come on, get out of there. Looks decent, it's a perch. Here we go. Nice healthy sized perch, probably not 30 centimeters, probably 27, something like that, but nice, nice and thick, good specimen. And that's on the uh, Missing at Sea Death Baits Guppy Shad, which is a two and a half inch paddle tail. It's kind of similar to the supercontinent, but um, yeah, a little bit more realistic looking.
on buddy off he goes uh, so that was a pleasant surprise I uh, donutted here last time but uh, conditions are pretty good overcast a little bit of a little bit of ripple on the surface of the water I think that perch would have uh, been cannibalizing on that on that lure that's the look I'm going for with that lure sort of a perch imitation might have to change spots but we'll have a few casts here all right let's uh see how far this cast is one sixteenth ounce jig head with that two and a half inch guppy shad on it uh, let's say it probably weighs around the three gram mark One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-nine. 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 29 turns of the handle maybe i'll work out how far that is 29 29 turns of the handle maybe i'll work out how far that is exactly but i'm going to say it's something like 28 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 29 Should be a good spot where that landed. Oh, look what we've caught! We've caught that. <laughs> Snagged up on that that reed or whatever it is. Damn! Just look at the size of it. That's what she said. There's a bite. Oh. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Oh. Yeah, we're on, we're on. There's another one. Yep, I've got a bite too. Yeah, I'm on. It's gone in the reeds. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where's on? Me. Hey, you need help? God. There we go. the setting on time warp and not normal so I don't know how how this footage is going to come out but uh, let's try and hook another one yeah there's a bite yep we're on we're on again so perch or is it a trout I'm gonna say perch oh there's a trout there <laughs> see that it just swam past yeah. And there's a there's a perch already. Another perch, smallest one of the day. It's probably around that 25 centimeter mark. Can't complain with that being the smallest. All right, let's see him go. Okay, 
Hey, had a pretty nice session there. It was unexpected that I'd um, I'd get that many fish and a rainbow trout, especially. I've only caught him here a few times, and um, some some nice sized perch for this kind of area. Anyway, let's talk about the rod, the Mavlos Ultima. It uh, comes in spinning and casting naturally, and uh, five foot six and six foot models. All of them are the same spec, uh, one to six grams, and the. Uh, casting models have nine guides which as I mentioned before always good it's kind of what you want to look for if it's got if it's six foot you know you want minimum nine guides really there's a lot of seven and eight models out there but um, yeah you really want you really want nine guides and five foot six and nine guides that's definitely a plus um, seemingly Fuji guides and just on that uh, on that first guide there you can see the Fuji printed underneath there now I can't remember but um, some of the rods the handing magic L has Fuji printed on it but it's in a different spot than, uh, than my other rods that have Fuji guides so I'm not too sure if they're if they're fake Fuji guides or what the deal is but um, I'll have to double check whether or not this is the same as the handing magic L or whether it's the same as you know my Abu rod or whatever but um, in terms of the aesthetics, it's got this nice short cork handle. It's not too short. Um, some of the shorter rods I have, the, the handle goes to here, and I feel like I'm going to throw the rod sometimes. But it's um, it's a nice length. Got a little, um, you know, that sort of firm but kind of spongy harder cork there. Um, and this cork's quite firm. It's got a little carbon fiber detail there. I like the um, the curved trigger grip. Some rods have a have a straight grip, which just feels a little bit uncomfortable. I mean, you get used to it and it, you sort of forget about it. But you know, if I had the choice of a curved or a, or a flat trigger, I'd I'd go the curved one all the time. And um, yeah, it's got a it's got a very fast taper. It's quite thick in the butt butt section here compared to other rods. Um, and this first say 30 centimeters here from underneath the um the real seat to to here it uh, depends what kind of light you put it in but it has a purple and i'd say like a dark blue fleck through it which looks which looks quite quite nice um and it's got these gold bands and from here on it's got a uh like a spiral wrap style blank that's all in black all the way up to the tip and each of the um, the line guides have these gold details, which you know I'm personally not a not a huge fan of gold in general, um, unless it's a 24 karat type. But on a rod, you know, not not my personal style. But um, yeah, like the the epoxy work and everything looks quite good. There's no no burrs or anything that I can see, and. Um, the join also is quite good too. You can see that that uh, you know, one centimeter gap there. It's it's very firm, and uh, like I said, it has really good sensitivity, and it's lightweight and just feels like an extension of my hand really when I'm casting. Like it just gives me a lot of confidence to um, sort of do like short, accurate casts with little little swings and stuff like that. Just because it it feels like throwing a throwing a frisbee or like a what do they call it in America where you throw the little the sack in <laughs> the sack where you you know you throw the, the little bean bag thing into the cornhole cornhole you know I guess do you throw cornhole backhand or underhand I don't know but it just feels like when you're casting you're like doing those shorter sort of 15 foot casts and under it just feels like natural like as if you were just to throw a ball or whatever so um, that's really good so uh, and the price it's around about 65 Australian dollars which what would that be in US definitely under 50 it'd be 40 45 ish something like that so um, in terms of value for money I mean it's a very competitive market these like you know six foot ish BFS rods that are uh, around about that kind of price point like um, 60 70 Australian dollars something like that so if you're looking for a fast action rod then this would be the pick 
because um, most of those other ones are sort of slower taper rods which might be good for uh, you know throwing spinners or, or plastics trout fishing um, things like that but I personally prefer um, these faster action rods just I don't know a little bit more sensitivity and um, probably when you hook a bigger fish it doesn't have that sort of shock absorption um, and that play that you would get from a from a, a slower soft like softer rod um, but you know for my type of fishing I really like the the faster action rods I had slower action rods in the past for the most part and then got the um, pure lure zero which is really fast action and started to like that then then got this one and yeah I, I like like fast action rods but, um, yeah if you're looking for a like a five foot six ultralight rod that's a fast action and this fits your budget I'd say yeah I definitely recommend it then again there again it's the Mavos Ultima although it says Silvanu Soldier Ultima yeah you can get that on Aliexpress for around about 65 Australian dollars anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video got lots of ideas lots of different uh, tackle reviews and, and fishing uh, videos to put up but just uh, don't have enough time to edit at the moment but um, they're definitely coming and um, yeah thanks for watching if you've stuck around to the end if you can drop a comment and a like really really appreciate that all right catch you guys next time boom